questions. Thank you, Tom. Breaking news now on an escaped inmate who set off a panic inside Columbia St. Mary's Hospital has been recaptured. Kalon Westland was on the loose for hours as police went room to room looking for him. Cody Hoyoke live outside the hospital to tell us how this manhunt finally came to an end. Cody. Well, Mike and Carol, as you said, deputies now have their man. We're told the inmate tried to escape while getting medical treatment and actually hid in the ceiling of the medical building behind us. Police cars, dogs running, everything. Police are running out quick, trying to fire him, lock on the building now. In the course of a few minutes, the Columbia St. Mary's complex turned into a search grid. Deputies maintain 30-year-old Keon Westland attacked a correctional officer who uncuffed him so Westland could use the bathroom. Daryl Ard watched as the inmate ran out of the main hospital building and took off. The last thing I've seen is a patient running across the street, running like crazy. And the security guard, like, where is he? I said, across the street. She was running after him quick as she could. So I'm running through. He made one door, and that was it and then we lost him. Hospital worker Chuck Lederman tried to help the female correctional officer hunt Westland down. When he finally got the door open, one of the ceiling tiles was uh, cranked up and that's where they, I think that's where they're looking for him. Deputies called on maintenance workers for a number of ladders. Patients inside were locked down for part of the day, anxiously awaiting the man's capture. And the door was slammed real, real hard. So the nurse locked that door and then she locked that door. Before he couldn't come back in. I got my cane. So if he come, he was coming, I was gonna be ready for him. Now, thankfully, patients were let out earlier in the day. Westland, by the way, was loaded up in a squad car about a half an hour ago. He now faces charges of escape and battery, along with the drug charges that landed him in jail in the first place. Live on Milwaukee's East Side, Cody Holyoke, today's TMJ4. Yeah, it's a good thing he didn't run into Mrs. Dickerson because she wasn't going to put up with any nonsense. Get that cane. Thanks, Cody. Well, the search for a key.